Now, the vultures that I'm talking about is a Indian vulture and uh, these uh, vultures are the most important birds of uh, our ecosystem. Vultures are basically uh, scavengers and they are uh, some sort of, uh, we can call them uh, silent sweepers. So uh, these vultures over the last two, three decades have uh, uh, nearly become extinct. Uh, now you no more see these vultures in the cities and even in the rural areas. Now the question is that uh, why they became extinct? Uh, the vultures uh, normally uh, used to live off uh, the dead bodies and they used to eat cattle carcasses. So uh, what happened that uh, with their you know these uh, long naked necks they they were able to dig deep into the flesh of the dead cattle and uh, you know they they are so efficient that uh, within 20 or 30 minutes uh, time they these vultures uh, could just strip the cattle down to the bone so these these were so important and significant uh, birds now it certainly played a very valuable role in the ecosystem as a scavenger and their speedy and uh, efficient disposal of the bodies uh, it did not uh, allow the deadly bacteria to develop and spread to you know other uh, habitations so high body temperatures and uh, very strong stomach acids of these vultures allowed them to you know ingest anything whatever they eat and even the bacteria and everything so all the pathogens were also eaten up without any ill effects from them so you know their uh, their uh, build was such their uh, stomach was such that they were efficiently uh, you know digesting everything that they were eating a vultures uh, is also in fact uh, very much uh, a popular popular character in the Indian mythology because in Indian mythology uh, you can uh, you know the story of uh, Ramayana and uh, vulture was is, is, st is still in many parts of India is, is still worshipped as a, a, a character called Jatayu so uh, it is this vulture god of the epic Ramayana who you know how he died it uh, the story goes like this that uh, when uh, Ravan uh, abducted Sita who was uh, the wife of Lord Sri Ram so uh, Ravan tried to take Sita to Lanka so and then Chatayu saw them saw uh, in fact Ra Ra Ravan that uh, Sita is being abducted and it is being abducted uh, on a Pushpak Viman which was very close to the place where Sita was living. So Jatayu opposed Rama, uh, Ravan and Ravan then chopped off Jatayu's one wing and took away Sita. Now the moment uh, the wings of Jatayu were chopped off, it actually fell on the top of a big rock where, you know, later Ram and Lakshman came and they were able to find the wounded Jatayu. And then uh, Jatayu till that time was not dead and he informed Ram and Lakshman about the abduction of Sita. And they immediately after this, after informing them, he died on the laps of Rama. This is how the story of uh, Ramayana uh, goes. And so Jatayu in that sense is a very uh, important character in the Indian mythology and it is being worshipped. In fact, the rock on which uh, Jatayu fell is still worshipped and it is located in, uh, uh, in a place called Jatayu Mangalam which is actually named after Jatayu and this uh, this Jatayu Mandalam is in uh, Kollam district of Kerala. So, this you know, but despite this uh, mythological connection, uh, vultures 
in India have often got a negative, you know, kind of a connotation. It is, uh, you know, many times used as a kind of a metaphor to to describe someone who exploits the weak. So we all, all often say that, you know, he's, he's like a vulture. So vulture, uh, in, in you know, although it is, uh, it is there in the Indian mythology as a kind of a god character, but, uh, you know, in modern times, often we used vulture as a metaphor in a negative sense. But so, but, you know, vulture in environmental terms, in ecological terms, played a very important role. And it played an important role since the ancient times. It uh, it was a very important uh, uh, creature for in the you know in the whole culture of the disposal of dead, because in ancient times vultures uh, uh, you know where they in the ancient societies in many of the society ancient societies uh, uh, the dead bodies were left on a high platform, so. The vultures uh, would come in large number and eat away the flesh of these dead within few minutes. Even you know the even till modern times, the Jurassians, the Parsis, they have the system of dead bodies uh, laid out on a platform, what they call as a tower of silence. So earlier, uh, these vultures used to work. You you know they they did this work of uh, eating away the flesh in very quick time and. And but now over the last 20 30 years when these vultures have become extinct the Parsis are finding it very difficult to you know the dispose of their dead but they know you know they have innovated something they have innovated a system called the solar concentrators so now uh, at their place uh, uh, they take the dead bodies at the tower of silence and they have, they have all those solar concentrators with the help of which they try to you know finish off uh, the flesh of the dead bodies now uh, so the question is that how did this extension start till as i mentioned that till 30 years ago vultures were very huge in number and this could be easily seen in both cities and in rural areas the countryside and you can you know uh, when i was uh, uh, very young and I could see that uh, many of the vultures uh, sitting on the trees and the you know electrical poles and various house tops so it was it is it's just a phenomenon of the 90s you know in early 91 92 I could see many vultures uh, you know sitting all around and uh, you can find them also on the railway tracks because many of the times uh, the dead cattle were left by the uh, uh, you know villagers uh, on the railway tracks and the vultures would come and eat the flesh so it, it has been estimated that uh, in the 90s early 90s 1990s uh, the population of vultures in india was nearly uh, 40 million but over the last three decades the vulture population has actually declined and it has declined dramatically and the reason is the massive use of a drug called the diclofenac now that this uh, drug diclofenac is used to treat uh, the cattle in India, although it is now banned, but you know, the uh, people who keep the cattle, they still use diclofenac. Uh, so diclofenac is uh, basically an anti-inflammatory kind of a drug, which is administered to the cattle. And so when the vultures uh, used to feed on these carcasses of the animals who were Earlier, when they were alive, they were given these diclofenac. So now, when they are, you know, when these vultures eat these animals when they are dead, the diclofenac actually creates some kind of a problem for these vultures. They, the vultures now suffer from renal failures many a time, renal failures, and these renal failures of uh, the vultures cause their rapid deaths. So. So the dramatic decline of vultures has created some kind of a vacuum today. And uh, you know, you will find that the millions of carcasses are often left rotting on railway tracks and in many places in rural areas at the uh, outer portion of the villages. And this has increased the possibility of uh, 
the spread of many of the diseases because the dead are now uh, normally prey to other scavengers like you know you have the feral dogs and all these rats who would come and eat the flesh of the dead but these animals uh, although they are uh, all doing the work of scavenging but they are not very as efficient as the vultures were they they are not uh, uh, you know um, you know in such a quick time they are not able to eat the uh, dead flesh and another very uh, you know uh, big problem with uh, this extinction of the vulture is that the vulture's uh, metabolism used to you know lead to complete extermination of the dead bodies and when i say complete extermination that means even the pathogens were you know extinct i mean removed from the dead bodies but now when the dogs and the rats they uh, eat the dead flesh they become the carriers of the pathogens and it is quite possible and they are actually the likely spreaders of disease uh, by eating these carcasses